Good afternoon, Auburn High School. I'm Bailey Rhodes. And I'm Braden Gentry, and you're watching Tiger TV. New Auburn High School t-shirts are on sale now for $10. Pay on my school bucks, or if you wish to pay with cash or check, please contact Mr. Cox. If 100 shirts are purchased, Mr. Cox has promised to shave his head. The deadline for purchasing these shirts will be Tuesday, January 26th. The third annual Black History Program is scheduled for Wednesday, February 17th at 6 p.m. You can support our ACE Club members in their creation of this program by purchasing a legend-themed t-shirt only on My School Bucks. Last day to order is Monday, February 1st at the end of the school day. Please contact Ms. Alyssa Gentry with questions. Since the beginning of the pandemic, the City of Auburn has worked with partners like East Alabama Medical Center to spread awareness about the requirements laid out in the Safer at Home Health Order. As of Thursday, January 7th, there were 85 people hospitalized with COVID-19. The university received a shipment of 3,500 doses of the vaccine from the state last Wednesday and started vaccinating essential clinical personnel that afternoon. Vaccine distribution remains available only for those who are high risk, but individuals can request a vaccine on the university's website. The Auburn debate team competed virtually in the Sanford University Bishop Guild Invitational Debate Tournament this past weekend. Congratulations to Gabriel Awe for winning the 5th place speaker award and the, to Naughty Reddy for winning the 8th place speaker award. Together they were the 8th place team overall. An excellent opportunity is available in the Auburn community, which is an internship associated with the City of Auburn. The applicant should have strong Microsoft skills, including Excel, in order to develop spreadsheets. This is an immediate opening. For more information, scan this QR code. On Tuesday, the Auburn High men's basketball team won against Smith Station. Let's go to Jeremiah for more information. Hey, Auburn High School. I'm Jeremiah, and you are now tuned in with sports. Auburn JV boys beat Smith Station 63-20. Our varsity girls defeat Smith Station 75-19. And Olivia Porter had 20 points, 6 assists, and 5 rebounds. And finally, Auburn High School boys put up a great shooting performance against Smith Station when they beat them, seeing them 79-56. And we had Jay Buckley with player of the game, while he had 21 points, six rebounds, and three assists. And look for softball and baseball games in the near future. Great job to our Tigers with those wins, and today we will face Central at Central. So good luck to our Tigers tonight, and go get the win. And now we are Auburn University basketball. Auburn University men's beats Georgia 95-77. to And Auburn women's games have been postponed due to COVID-19 issues. Alabama men's wins a close one against their rival Auburn. They beat Auburn 94-90. They play in Arkansas this Saturday. Once again, I'm Jeremiah, and thanks for watching sports. Before you die, you got to live. Here's a look at today's core four. Driver's license by Olivia Rodrigo set the record Tuesday for the most streams in a single day, 15.7 million global streams. And then she went on to break the record the following day with 17 million streams. This last weekend, we were all heartbroken to find out that Harry Styles is in fact in a relationship with Olivia Wilde. He confirmed this at one of his friend's weddings. Earlier this week, the Kardashians filmed their final episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Afterwards, Kim, Courtney, and Chloe, and Chris gave their Keeping Up with the Kardashians staff of 30. They all gave them Rolex watches. How nice. Jeffrey, what are you doing in here? Kim isn't in a rush to file for divorce from Kanye, but she says their marriage is beyond repair. We have a teacher um, here today. Uh, I think she's from Auburn High, maybe, possibly. Um, her name is um, Smith, comma, first name Jamie. And um, she taught uh, Cade and I some 
some things that I don't remember. I think I just put it she together. She tried. She tried to teach it. <laughs> she true. did very well. I tried. She, I tried. She, yeah. She, best she could have. Yeah. But but I still have a question. So so we taught we learned soft skills, right? Yes. But but so what's the difference between soft and hard skills? So what is something you're looking forward to this semester at Auburn High? This semester. Um I guess getting my kids to open up right now because they're very, very quiet. They're not y'all at all, and I want them to to open up. Okay, yeah, so listen, know. all you people sitting in your Tire Connect right now, talk to your teacher. They're just like us. They're human. They sure. want to get to know you. Talk sure. to your teachers. Yes. If you went to a water park in Wisconsin, would your butt cheeks freeze to the slide? Not in the summer. <laughs> What about the winter? I wouldn't go to a water park in the winter. That would be cold. Sounds stereotypical to me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What would it be? I feel like you would have mind control. Oh, I like that one. So we're talking mind about mama. Mind mama. <laughs> you heard it. Mind mama. Mind mama. That's me. <laughs> um, Mrs. Smith, um, I received a 44 on this Goonies assignment, and I was wondering why that had happened. Work harder, Brayden. Uh, that's that's not satisfactory. Can you try again, please? You plagiarized. Don't well, I can't <laughs> say that. <laughs> that's the whole point. Of mm. Any good movies lately? Oh. Kate, have you seen anything I need to see? Oh, mm. the uh, no. Bridgerton. Oh, so good. It's so good. So good. It's so good. Yeah. I don't understand the nerd talk. He was a nerds. I know. We are. Uh, basically. So so when you go to get your hair cut, what do you ask for? Um. A stack. Okay, interesting. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stack. Oh, cool. Show the oh. camera. Yeah, yeah. Give us a oh, period. Show us the stack. Why does that, why does that sound so, like mm -hmm. something off the dollar menu at Taco Bell? <laughs> 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 because there probably is one of those. It, it sounds more like pancakes to me. Yeah. All right. Are you more of an IHOP gal or a Waffle House? Mm. Oh, I hop for pancakes. Okay. But I love Waffle House. Okay. All right. Pancakes. I got something now. Okay. So. So you, you should know the answer because we were just talking about it. But where does a one-legged waitress work? I'm sorry. Where does a one-legged waitress work? I hop. Oh <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in this week. Uh, you can catch us on Couch Time next week. Uh, thank you, Miss Smith, for joining us. I love you guys. And I love you guys. Everybody, stay safe and have a good weekend. Peace. Bye.